New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today we're going to be talking about a receptacle tester. This is made by Klein and the model is an RT250. Now it is a digital tester and it does require batteries. It requires two AAAs. And truthfully, I thought it was kind of gimmicky because the regular testers that I have used in the past work extremely well. But there are a few extra features that I do think warrant the batteries, the display, and I think this tool is worth taking a look at. Because it has batteries you have to turn the tool on and you do this by pressing the power button and holding it down then it will power up and right off the bat you can see that it is measuring an open hot wire and that's because there is no hot wire connected to this it's not plugged into anything. Now when I plug it into this live receptacle that I have on my workbench it's going to give you a green light that means it is connected everything is correct and it's going to give you a voltage reading and in my house i currently have 122 volts so everything is working properly something else that i thought was pretty cool is when you unplug the tool it remembers for 10 seconds what the last reading was this would be very handy if you're in a situation where you had to plug the tool in upside down then flip it over and take a look at the reading and the tester does have a backlit screen now let's wire this receptacle incorrectly and we'll see how it handles that for the first test i have disconnected the ground we're going to go ahead and restore power to this receptacle and we're going to see what the meter tells us and it tells us we have 120 volts but it also says we have an open ground and we have a red light and there's the ground it's not connected so the tool detected that perfectly in this scenario we have reconnected the ground and we have taken the common wire and disconnected it i've restored power and it is telling us that we have over 30 volts detected but we have an open neutral and the common wire is our neutral. So again, the tool works perfectly. I have now switched the neutral and the hot wires. I've left the ground connected and you can see it gives us a fault and it is telling us that the hot and the neutral are reversed. Now here's where things get a little bit interesting. This is where a standard tester will probably show nothing because they don't have any power and they're not capable of doing this. I have the ground disconnected. I have the neutral disconnected and the only thing that is connected is the hot wire. Once power is restored, you can see that it detected over 30 volts and it is telling us that it has an open ground and an open neutral. That's pretty impressive. It can also test the GFCI outlets just like any other tester. However, this one will tell you just how long it took for that outlet to trip. To test the outlet, you just press the test button. And you can see on the screen, it'll show you that it took 0.09 seconds for this particular outlet to trip. So the tester has a few tricks up its sleeve and well, for that, I think it's a pretty cool tool. I don't like the fact that it has AAA batteries because well, my luck with batteries is usually pretty bad. They typically leak on me and ruin the device. I suppose if I rotated my batteries and didn't let them die and decompose inside my tools, this wouldn't be a problem. But for all the neat features that this has, I think it's worth it and I'm going to keep it and I'm going to continue to use it and I will remove the batteries when I'm not using it. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.